Hi, Pastor Nathan Decker with your hashtag Better Together devotion for today. This week we're talking about especially being uh, a people of God who care for one another. And one of the things I know as a pastor is that a lot of times people want visits. They want to be, they want to know that folks actually do care for them. And I can't tell you the number of times uh, that I as a pastor walked into a hospital room or something like that and someone will express to me, you know, Nobody at that church cares for me. I mean, Pastor, you, you, they, they just don't care at all. You, you just don't understand. And then I'll, I'll hear from them in the very same conversation that they'll mention. Well, you know, Jeb visited, and so did so did Susan and, and, and Ray, and, 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 and you know, even Galen showed up and, and, and offered a visit and gave some time. You know, I have such good friends. And that's the problem is that so many times when we as a people of faith actually do go visit, we go visit in the name of friendship rather than going and visiting as an offering, as a part of the body of Christ. Now, as a pastor, when I walk in the room, I have this title that immediately says, hey, I'm doing this on behalf of God. Sometimes I'll have a name tag or a t-shirt that says, hey, this is who I am. This is why I'm doing this. This is what's going on. As a lay people, for the most part, we have to actually say when we walk in the room, hey, how's it going, Sally? I know you're going through a rough time, but, but as, as a part of the church, as a part of Christ's body, I wanted to come here and offer care for you and pray for you. We really actually need to name, when we go and care for people, the agenda that we're care the reason, the agenda is care, and the reason that that care comes is not from a friendship or a family obligation, but truly from the love of Christ, from the body of Christ. When we do that, as I've trained lots of different classes on pastoral care, when we shift the focus away from a howdy duty time and talking about all the small talk that we do as friends, sometimes we go a lot deeper into spiritual conversation. Sometimes within the prayer, uh, a lot of times I'll ask folks, you know, how would you like me to pray for you? And they'll mention something that I didn't know was going on with them. And so after the prayer is over, I'll start talking to them and ask them, tell me more about that. When we go as the body of Christ, and when we announce to the person we're visiting that we're visiting them on behalf of Jesus, because of God's love for them, it makes a tremendous difference in what takes place during that visit. So go and visit. And, and for those of you who think that it's the pastor's job to visit, I want to tell you that that's killing the church. That's killing the church. The church needs to be the ones who visit. The church, including the pastor, all of us need to go and visit and truly show people that Jesus loves them and cares for them at their very worst times. Go and be the body of Christ and announce it as you walk in the room and let them know you care. When we do this, we'll be better together.